it doesn't touch everybody so so bad. Okay. Kuv Daf Kuv Chav Vav. We're on the bottom of Kuv Chav Hey Omid Beis. Um, again, for those just joining, Elio, what's the name? Mordechai, Mordechai Chana or Chana Mordechai? No, uh, Mordechai Chana. Mordechai Chana ben... Uh, um, I'm Yitzchak Zev. Chaim Yitzchak Zev. Uh, that's uh, Rabbi Mejorovic's son, Chani. His yard side tonight, so we're learning Le'iloi. We're learning Le'iloi Nishmasa. Okay, so we're four lines up from the bottom. Right? Yeah, so so the sugi that we've been talking about is the mostly bechor taking pishnayim, and when the bechor doesn't get pishnayim. So we said that a bechor doesn't get double on accounts receivable; he only gets double on the actual on muks on stuff that is that is muksuk, right? So that was that, and then we said a husband the same thing. When a husband yashins a wife, it's the same thing. Tamara Papa Hilchasa, Rapapa said Allah is Ain Habal Naitil Biroy Kiba Muksuk. A Baal does not take because then we had all these sugis the last couple of blots, and now Rapapa is giving us closure, as they say. So Allah is Ain Habal Naitil Biroy Kiba Muksuk. A Baal does not Yarshin Roy Kiba Muksuk, meaning only things that his wife has in hand does the husband inherit from her when she dies. Everything else, everything else not. Meaning, if she has accounts receivable or future earnings, doesn't he doesn't get it? Bein a bechar noitel b'roi kibam muksik and a bechar doesn't get double in the same situation. Bein a bechar noitel pishnayim b'malve and a bechar doesn't take double on a loan. Meaning, if the if they collect a, a loan that the father had that had that was outstanding, then the bechar does not get double from that. Bein shigavu karka, bein shigavu mois. Whether they collected karka or whether they collected money. That make a difference. Both of them, and um, none of the, none of on none of them does he get does he get double? Because yesterday we said it was a machlaikist whether he gets double from karka or money, but we don't go with either one of them. Antomid Aleph. Umalva, now this one gets a little this becomes a little uh, a little uh Technical Umalva Sheimoy, and let's say he had his own loan with his father, meaning the father had a loan with the Bechar, Palgi, then the Bechar has to split that loan um, with his brothers. Now, what does this mean? This means that the father lent the Bechar money, right? And the Bechar owed the father money. And now the father died. So now the Bechor has to pay it back to the estate. So the question is, do we look at this money that the Bechor borrowed? Is that Roy? Or is that Muxuk? Right? If it's Roy, so then the Bechor is not going to get, he's not going to get double from it. If it's Muxuk, then he will get double from it. So, the question is, since it belonged to the Bechar the whole time, so then that's like Muxik. Right? So, so Mamela, the, 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 so what we do is we split it. Now, why do we split it? Why split? Right? Um, Akiva's not on. Okay. Okay. He would, well, he would like this. Well, it's Akiva, yeah, only, and, only half of it was Muxik. Only what he's supposed to get is considered Muxik. The other half of it is only Ray. He's like a regular Leva, like anybody else. Why? What do you mean? The whole loan, the whole loan. What are you saying? You're saying that the loan should be split? I mean, the whole let's loan see. is owed to the father, right? Yeah, but let's say let's say he has one other brother. So he's considered a muxik on the part that he's supposed to get. It's like taking from one pocket to the other pocket. But the other half is only is only right. He's like a he's like a stranger regarding the estate. It's not going back to him, it's going back to a different brother. Um Right, so shouldn't we count only half of it as Musak and the other half as Ray? Why? Because it belonged to him, but the might of the money was a loan that was going to the, that's supposed to go to the father. Right. So he's just like he's like any other loyal. Why is it why is it considered Musak? Um 
the only reason I could I, I could hear it's Moksik is because it's no, it's going back to him. Right, exactly. But if that's but not the, case, the whole, the whole, not thing, the whole thing, but not the whole thing, only whatever he's supposed to get is, is going back to him. Not the entire not the entire oh, load. I think that the Moksik doesn't count. No? What does that mean? Meaning it's if either it's Moksik or it's Roy, it's one of the two. The whole thing. Why can't it be somewhere in the middle? Because either either it's Roy or it's Muxik. I know I'm trying to say make it overly simple, but <laughs> I hear what you're saying. You're saying we don't know what to do. So it's, okay, you know what? Let's see what it's so it's actually Machlaikis Rashbam and Toysfis. I don't know if what you're saying is is what the Rashbam the Rashbam says very simple. It's it's Maman Amutl Bisafik. I don't know if that's what you're saying, but I hear. No, I, I was saying I was saying it. we know exactly what to do. It's not that we're Muslim what to do. We know what to do, but we could only consider the part that he's getting as considered Muslim. The other half of it is is just right because he's like a different. He's like a like just a, no shaykh to the estate, just like any other leiva, and wasn't collected yet. It's just he he himself he's going to be getting it, so he's taking it from one pocket, putting it in the other pocket. So look, I'll be that. That's Muslim because he's oh, yeah. holding the same money. Okay, maybe I don't want to say. Okay, so that's I'm not sure if that's what the Rashbam means. The Rashbam is saying, the Rashbam just says it's moment on multiple self We have no idea what to do with this money. Toysus says it's not moment. Toysus, the second Toysus of Umawa, don't worry, it's a short one of Tolly. Not, he says, Loy Mishum the Kaimel and moment on multiple self because we don't pass in moment on multiple self is Chalkin. So that can't be the reason. He says it's a Takonas Chachomim he. Right? It's a Takanas Chachamim. I don't know where this Takanas Chachamim is, but I mean, how often does this case happen? That it's Mamash a Takanas Chachamim. Mamash Shuma Furish Behedju the Chalkin. Right? So, um, yeah. So, I, okay. So, it's interesting whether it's a Mamash Shuma Furish Behedju the Chalkin. Fine. Now, so now just to review what we were saying. Um, Um. Uh, we said that if the we had a machlokes ra uh, rebbe and the chachamim, if the inheritors put money into the into the uh, into the yerusha, and then and then it improves, so then the bechor does not get pishnayim, right? So what happens if the Bukhara right? Because he's it's not uh uh it, it's it's meaning they're they're entitled to put him away while they're waiting for the will to be probated, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So they decide they have to put in some investments, in which case the, the Bukhara loses the Pishnaim. What happens if the Bukhara says don't put it in? Because he knows that if he's gonna put it in, if they're gonna put it in, he's gonna be down and out. Right. So what? So let's see. So Amar Rav Huna, top line, Kuf Chof Vav Amaral. Amar Rav Huna, Amar Rav, Amar Rav Asi. Bechor Shemicha. If a bechor makes a, a bechor makes a macha, right? And he says, I don't put any money into the account or into the real estate, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Right? So then, Micha, um, it's considered a macha, and he's going to get Pishnayim. Even if the even if the other brothers put money into the into the estate, Omar Rabba Mustavar Tami de Ravasi, it makes sense. Ravasi makes sense. Ba Novim Ubatsum Toma with grapes, and the brothers decided to harvest them. Zaysim Umaskum or by olives and they decided to harvest those. And the brothers said, Don't harvest them. So I guess it's worth more when they're harvested. So since the brother said not to do it, they didn't listen. He still gets pishnayim. Avodarchum loy. But if they, if they press the grapes, meaning the, back then they used to step all over the grapes, right? And they did it in order to to get themselves to be kind of the wine and the oil. Then it doesn't work, and a very interesting reason why. Because they were kind of with the shinoi. By being Mishana them, so they were kainits, and now it became the brothers, even though it became the brothers illegally, but they're crooks. Right? And Mela, it's not it's not theirs. 
And therefore, it's not even meaning they're crooks. They'll have to pay it back, but there's no Pishnayim there. Because basically what happened, the way I understand it, is that the Yerusha got stolen. It got stolen by the brothers, but it got stolen. Right? says, even if they, even if they, they uh, pressed it, still the Bechor gets Pishnayim. So the Gemara asks, Darchum, how can you say that they can yashin it? It's a whole different entity. Before it was it was grapes, and now it's wine. And they were kind it with a shinoi. Right? So how can you say that the, the Bukhar should get Pishnayim? Yeah, these guys are not they're not getting the Tzadik of the Year award because they're crooks, but Lamaisa, it can't you can't say that the Bukhar has any right to it. It was stolen from him. So he answers because the Amar Rav Ukva Bar Chama, like Rav Ukva Bar Chama says, "Liten loch, liten loy deme hezek anovav." They're mechuyev to give him the damage for the grapes. They're meaning that was what he said in the case. In the next case, which Gemara is going to bring in a minute, it's talking about where the where these brothers lost the wine or oil. Right? Meaning it spilled or it got it, it went sour. And Mamela, they can't say they have to pay double the Pishnayim to the brother or the Yerusha to the Bechar from the original price, not what it's worth less now because it spilled or it got spoiled, etc. So Achanami, what he means here, what Rav Asi, what Rav Yosef meant, is not that the Bechar is still has a, has a has a hand in it because he doesn't. The Bechar does not have a hand in it because these guys stole it. What it means is that if it spills, they're going to have to pay him back the price that it was worth before it spilled or the price it was worth before it got spoiled. Fine. Where did Rav Ukva say his din? On a different case. You have a Bechor and a Pashat. Right? A, a Pashat means a regular son. Right? So you have two boys. Their father left them grapes. Ubatrum and the not the Bechar, the regular son went and harvested them. Zaysim Muskim and the olives, and he went and he harvested those. Bechar Noitel Pishnaim, the Bechar takes Pishnaim, Afilu Darchum. Even if, even if they, um, even if that the plain uh, son pressed the, pressed the grapes, right? So the Gemara said, Darchum Eikara in Vehashtachamra. How could you say that it's still part of the Bechar? This guy, he changed it. So Amar Amar Ukva Bar Chama. Here's where Ukva Chama said is the liten loy to make hezek and no. What what Shmuel means is that when they, if they damage the grapes, then they're gonna have to pay. He's gonna not they. Here it's two brothers. He's gonna have to pay back the damage of what the grapes were worth before it spilled, or before it got um, it got uh, spoiled. Yeah. So that's what we're saying here too. When the Bechor is Michael, his uh, when the Bechor is Michael, his his uh, um, whatever he wasn't Michael, we made a Macham. Sorry, when he made a Macham, not to do the improvements, and these guys took it, and then they lost it. So that's so then they have to pay back the original price to the Bechor. Fine, okay, weiter, but the two dots now. Amar Avasi, Bechor shenoto chelik keposhet. Let's say a Bechor decides he doesn't want, he's a, he's a good guy. I don't know if he's a good guy, a bad guy, but he decides to be a nice guy. And he says he doesn't, he's splitting. He's not splitting. He's, I'm sorry, he's not taking Pishnaim. He's splitting. Not a, you know, smart, not a smart guy. I, he might, I don't know. You know, it's, this his is right. fine line. Why, it's his right. Why would he not do it? What? It's his right. It's his right, but he's, you know, there's a fine line between a tzaddik and a, and a fool, no? Uh, what is maybe, maybe the other brothers needed more? They didn't have as they weren't zachah to such a, a big livelihood as this guy. So you know, so, you know so I don't need the extra money. You guys need it more than I do. So what's so, so what's what's so uh, hard for them to figure that out? Right. Okay. So he could do that. He's entitled. Um. All right. So, okay, but let's see how the sugi plays out. So, he takes a chaylet like, like a poshet. He decides he's not taking his pishnaim. Viter, 
So what he did is he gave it up, Mavata, from the word Mavata, he gave it up and he split like everybody else. My Vita, what does it mean he gives it up? So now we have an interesting Machloik, it's Rav Papa Mishmei the Rava and Rav Papi Mishmei the Rava. I don't know how often we have that in uh, in Shas. Yeah, but they're both having a Machloik in what their Rebbe Rava says. Yeah. So Rav Papa Mishmei the Rava, Omar Vita Ba'isa Sada. When he says he's, you know, he's gonna split like regular people, that's that field and that's it. Right? But Papi Mishmade, meaning the rest of the inheritance, the Bakhar still has is entitled to get his double share. But Papi Mishmade the Rova Omar Vita Bakhala Nachasam Kulan. He's once he's out, he's out. He's out on one field, he's out on everything. What's a Pshan in this Machlaikis? So Rapapa Mishmade the Rova Omar Vita Ba Isis Sade. That he gave up on that field, Kosavar ain't like the Bechor Kaidim Chaluka, because he holds that a Bechor doesn't have, doesn't he has no rights before everything gets probated, before it gets split up. Meaning, do we say that the Bechor gets Pishnayim, and whatever Pishnayim he's getting is considered his, even before we don't, before we know how much he's actually getting, right? Uma de Asli and what came to his hand, he was Michael. The rest of the stuff, he was not Michael. Meaning, he they we're talking about, let's say, the cases where they yarsh in the field, right? They yarsh in the they yarsh in the field amongst other things, right? And and um, he he. Uh, how do you say it? They are not one. I mean, this, they're probating the will slowly. I think this is the way I understand it. At least, if, and if this is not the pshat, at least it makes it makes the pshat a little bit more understandable. So basically, they yarsh in one field, and the guy gives it up. Right? He says, "I'm not taking double." And then, and then, but then he realizes, like David was saying, he realizes that. You know what? I'm not interested in, uh, in giving up. I'm giving up a lot. So he says to himself, "Okay, that's it. I'm done." And then, so then, when the next fields come through the probate, the probate, so then he uh, he he says, "I'm out." So what we're saying there is that when something already came to his rishos, so then he's entitled to to be Michael. But the other fields that didn't yet come into his rishos because they didn't probate it then he doesn't have a right because it's not his. Right? That's that's the way Rav Papa is saying it. And Rav, Rav Papa, no, I'm sorry, that's the way Rav Papa is saying it. And Rav Papa is going to say that no, it's the, it's the, he, it's a matana. Right? Well, like we said in yesterday's daf, Pishnayim is a matana. At least that was one side yesterday it's a it's a matana and since it's a matana so the matana happens right when right when the father dies the entire thing goes as uh as as a matana mamela becomes his and he has the ability to be michael meaning if something's not yours yet you can't be michael it it can you can only be michael it once once it becomes once it becomes yours Right. After that, um, but after that you can be Michael, but, but before that you cannot. You cannot be Michael. Right. So that's uh, so that's what we're saying is the is the machleik is here. So again, so he's saying What came into his hands he could be Michael. The rest he cannot be Michael. Right. Rapapi Mishmei the Rava Amar, Viter, Viter Bechalan Nechasim Kulan. He's he's Mavater and all all of his his Nechasim. Kasavar why he holds Yesh Loi Lebechar Kaidem Chaluka. He holds um, the Bechar before the thing gets split. Meda Achel Baha Achel Bekulo, meaning it becomes his before it's split. And when he's Michael in the first the first field, so he's Michael in all the fields. Right? Now I'm assuming that this case is is talking about 
where he he um, didn't specify. He just said he's being Michael this field. I mean, what happens if he said he's being Michael? He's being Michael only this field and not any of the other fields. What would we say then? Is that also in the Machlaikis? Or is it only when he didn't specify exactly what he's doing? All right? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what to what to do with that. But anyways, so that but that's the machlaikus. Again, Rapapa holds that it doesn't become the Bukhars until it's until it's in his hand. And Rapapi holds that it does become his um before and therefore he can give it away. Fine. That's the machlaikus Rapapa Rapapi. Bahada Rapapi Vira Papa or first wide line. Bahadur Rapapa Vira Papi, La Bafarish it my Ella McClala. It's not said Bafarish. It said it, it was learned from a different from a rule. It let me call it. I was learned from a from a rule. The hahu bechar from a story. The hahu bechar that there was a bechar. The azul zavin nixe diday. A bechar decided to go sell his poor. We said on the top of the daf it's with a poshet, where the regular son decided to do whatever he wanted with the with the inheritance. Here the bechar decided to do what he wants. He went and he bought, um, he sold, I'm sorry, his nechassim and the Pashat's nechassim. Now that brother died. Right? Yeah, let's paint the case. The, you have two boys, Yarshin, a Bukhar and a regular son. The Bukhar decided he's going to go sell everything. And then that bro- the brother died. So now he has, he has inheritors. So the, the, the inheritors thought, who gave this Bukhar, our uncle, the right to go sell anything? So also, Yasmi b'nei poshut l'meichel timri mahanu l'kuchas. So the Yasim went, uh, and they went, and they started eating the dates on the field in the fields that these people bought, because they believed that it wasn't... Uh, um, um, it wasn't their uncles to sell, so they just went there. So Machanu and the people that bought the land from the Bukhar started hitting them. Samri Lahu, Samri Lukraivim. So the relative said to the buyers, Loy Mistaya Dizavnatinhu Linuxayu, it's not enough that you bought their property without illegally. You're also gonna beat them? What are you guys doing? Not only are you crooks. Right? I don't know if you're the crooks, but not only did you buy, did you purchase this thing illegally, but you also you also um, are hitting them. So also look at the Rava. They came in front of Rava. Again, Rava's Rapapa and Rapapi's Rebbe. Amalahu, like also like Klum, he told them you did nothing and the sale's not a sale and it goes to the assignment on Tomid Base. Marsovar, like also Klum, Bepalga. So one holds, meaning Rav Papa held, Rav Papi held that when Rav said they didn't do anything, it meant that the sale is no good on half. Meaning, what happened here? The Bukhar sold the field, his field, and his chalik in the field, and his brother's chalik. So his, his chalik in the field, he's entitled to sell, right? It's his. His brother's chalik, is, was, he was not entitled. His brother's chalik, he was not entitled to sell. Right, so Rapapi said that when Rava said the sale's no good, he's only on the the regular son's thing the, 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 that he was not entitled to sell, doesn't work. But on the other half, the, the half that belongs to the Bukhar, that's allowed. Right. So what do you see? You see that a Bukhar is, um, um, he does have rights to the field even before they. Before they split it, right? Our whole sugya here, that's our whole sugya, whether Bukhar has rights to his double portion on um before they even divide up the estate, right? That's the whole shaila. So by Rapapi saying that when Rava said that the purchase is no is only half good, when he says the purchase is no good, it only meant half. So then that means that it's no good for uh for I mean, it's no good for the for the pashut, but for the bechor it is good. Now, how could it be good? They didn't split the estate yet. Must be, must be Rava held according to Rapapi's version of Rava. 
that he does have the Bukhar does get it even before they split it. Umar Sava Bakulu. And Rav Papa said Rav Rava meant that the entire sale is no good because the Bukhar didn't have rights to sell this thing even for his own portion because they never split it yet. So that's how we know from this story, that's how Rav Papa and Rav Papa have their machloikas about whether a Bukhar has the right to be Michael his Pishnayim. Yeah. So Shochum Itam, they sent from there, from Eretz Yisrael, Bukhar Shemachar Koydim Chaluka. If a Bukhar sells his Chalek before it was divided, he did nothing, right? Which is like Rav Papa. He did nothing, and the whole thing is uh, because he cannot, he, he he doesn't acquire it until everything is divided. Alma, hein loy lebechar, kaidem chaluka. A bechar gets nothing before the, the estate gets split up. Ve'elchasa yesh lebechar, kaidem chaluka. And like to Derech of the Gemara, the Gemara brings from Eretz Yisrael, and then it says, and by the way, we don't pass him like that. We said a bechar does have he does have a right to sell this thing even before it was divided. Fine. Marzutra midarishpa. Marzutra from Darishpa, he was a Bechor. So Pollock, Betsina, the Pilpali, Bahadi, Achen, Beshava. He decided he's going to be a nice guy and he split a basket of peppers with his brothers equally. Yeah. Um, and the rest of the story is left out. So. Um, now this I tell you sometimes I don't know sometimes I don't understand how anybody learns Gemara without art school when, I hate when, when, did, didn't we say two days ago yesterday that the Bukhar Pishnaim is only on Karka it's only on what's Muxuk only what's Muxuk not Karka what does that mean Muxuk Muxuk means that it's uh, it's uh, liquid not liquid, liquid, meaning it's available. It's not accounts receivable. In cash? Cash also. So okay. As long as okay. it's there, as long no. as it's okay. there. Peppers are not cash. I know. I just I, I just, I, I just, thought that it uh, uh, it wasn't liquid. I, I, I misunderstood. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so it means, no, it means anything that's... Uh, Anything that's uh, there. So anyway, so but here I don't understand how you understand this Gemara without the article. It doesn't say. I mean, you could figure it out, but maybe I don't have confidence enough in my learning abilities. I mean, it doesn't say what the rest of the story is here. All it says is that he it doesn't even say he was a Bukhar. right? So again, Marzutra from Rish from Rishba to Rishba split a a. Basket of peppers with his brothers. Fine. What? So then what happened? So it has to be, I don't know if it has to be, but the way the art school says it, and that's it, and that's the only way it really makes sense, is that he then decided he wants to get the rest of his the estate. He wants to get double. The peppers he didn't care for. Right? So also look at the Ravashi, Omar Lay, Hoyal Vivitarta Bimiktas. So Ravashi says, no, you cannot have your cake and eat it too. You want to be a nice guy? You're, you're, that's it. You're giving up everything. You can't give up Pishnaim on some things and not and not on others. So once you give it up on some, you give it up on all. Yeah? I'm just, yeah. I'm, I'm curious. <clears throat> Why does it have to be necessary that this Marzutra Midrishba was a Bukhair? What about the other way around? If the Pasha split it with the Bukhari, the Bukhari still agreed to split it ultimately. Yeah, but I mean, I mean, it came from then. What was the Shiloh then? So the so the Mars the Mars Dutra is one of the brothers. Yes, he's one of he was one of the brothers. No, if he's not the Bukhor, then he's just one of the brothers. That's what that's what uh, uh Gershon's trying to Gershon's trying to slug up art school. That's what you I don't see right? the difference is whether he's a Bukhar or not. Either way the Bukhar he agreed split. because he agreed. Either way the Bukhar agreed to split, whether he's the Bukhar or not. Either I mean, the question is who him. initiated 
Yeah, right. but I mean, it makes sense. It makes sense that he's the one that did it. I mean, that he's the Bukhar. Otherwise, why mention his name? It's going from the other way around. I mean, the it says Achim plural. Bukhar agreed. Right. So the Achim all said, let's split it. He agreed. So now he split it. So now they want to say that they, they're trying to hoodwink him. They're timing out to Bazdin that he was Michael. Yeah, I don't. I'm saying it says Achin brothers. So it means you have to say yeah. that. So Achin means there was a Bechor brother and a regular brother. And 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 Marzucha yeah. Midrishpa. Yeah. Huh? And Marzucha Midrishpa was, was not a Bechor. Okay. Maybe I don't hear it. I don't hear it. I think that it makes more sense that he was the Bukhar. But like you say, you tell a yeshiva guy you're saying shot from art scroll, he's automatically gonna try and slug it up, right? <laughs> no, I don't see. I mean, I originally I thought the same way that art scroll when I saw the Gemara. Now I'm thinking, what about the other way around? That's because you didn't know it was art scroll until I said it. Once you heard it was art well, scroll, you meant, once <laughs> yeah. you said it was art scroll, that that tennis went moved down and said, okay, we gotta slug this up. <laughs> What do they call that in the in the in the political world today? An unknown bias or something? <laughs> exactly. Yep, a hundred percent. Yeah, but Lamaisa, I'm asking. Halacha Lamaisa. If it doesn't make a difference, it doesn't make a difference. I think you're right. right. Who's the, who yeah. cares who initiates? Who cares? As long as he agrees. I'll let, yeah. No, because then you can get into other things we had above Abbasa. He agreed under duress. Right. There's no duress here. No, but he's probably he's brothers. They just lost their father. That, that, but that might that changes the case. What if it was under duress? Yeah, that's not yeah. what we're no, talking he'll about. He'll say when they go to Besden two months later, he'll say what it was at the Levaya. Everybody was emotional. I decided I'm going to be mechazik, my brothers. But I really decided I don't want to no, be. Apparently me. not. It wasn't that emotional. That's why they gave peppers to make everyone cry. <laughs> I didn't learn that there was that type of pepper either. <laughs> <laughs> Art school doesn't say what type of peppers they meant to be. I, I understood always that uh, uh, palpalin is really is really you're right. I palpalin is palpalin is usually yeah. yeah 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 okay bye. Now we get into the regular the sugyas of living not living wills but uh, um, rewriting wills. Because you don't want to go with the regular derech of Yerushas. Meaning you like one son better than the other son. You don't want to give the Bechar Pishnayim. So how do you go about structuring a will so that you can do your well, your so you could do your will and not the Torah's will? Right? No pun intended there. But that's so that now we start getting into those sugyas. So as long as you structure it properly, you can get away with it. So let's see. So the mission is Aimer Ish Plaini Bani Bakar La Yito Pishnayim. So if a guy says, My Ish Plaini, um, who's a Bani Bakar, meaning my my Bakar La Yito Pishnayim, he's not taking double. I'm not giving double to my son. Ish Plaini Bani La Yirushas Imechav, or this and this son, I don't like him. He's not part of Yerusha. La Yomar Klum, he said nothing. Why? He's making a tanai against the Torah. You cannot go against the Torah. The Torah says every boy yarshins, girls don't yarshin unless there's no boys, and the Bukhar gets double. You cannot go against that. Right? Oh, but if I'm a chalak nechas of alpiv, but let's say somebody's doing it balpeh, meaning he's a shiv meira, he's laying on his deathbed, and he decides, you know, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna die without saying anything. There's going to be the standard inheritance, which I don't want to do. So he says, he says, Balpeh, either in front of Adam, not in front of Adam, right? Um, he says, I'm um, Reba Echad, Umiyat Echad. He says, I'm going to give more to one son and less to this son, Vishwalan as a Bukhar. And he says that the Bukhar is going to get. Um, an equal, he's going to, the Bukhar is going to get an equal amount, the bar of Kayomen, then his words work. They stand, literally. Why? Because he gave it as a Matana, not as a Yerusha. And he's giving it out when he's alive, before he's dead, which is the basic way to do things. You write a, you write a will, and you write in the will that the second before I die, these are all going to be presents to this one, that one, and then you can do whatever you want. 
the case before the Mishnah, my, my Zuchid, the, my, well, I can't, wherever he's from, why can't he say that was Matana, the, the peppers? He's he's the inheritor. He's not the father. Right, but why can't he say it's a Matana? He split it with his brothers. He gave his brothers a Matana. He's not backing out. Well, I mean, that's what he did. He took his Pishnayim and he gave it as a Matana to his brothers. No, he lost his Pishnayim. Well, that's what he did. That's what we're saying. When he gives away what? his Pishnayim, he loses... He loses his peach naim on the entire estate. But why can't he take his peach naim and say, I gave it to him as a present now. It's mine. I gave it to him as a present. Gershon's very was not happy with that. It was by definitionally, it was before Chalukah. He didn't take any peach naim. Chalukah didn't happen. The shayla is, how much has he given up on? That's all. The father died. The father, the father died. What we're talking about now is the father. Can the father make Tanaim and what his I, I got we're talking about in the mission. I'm talking about the case before. I'm asking a question. Why can't they when they come they're dividing up the peppers, they divide it up, they divide it up evenly. I gave them a present. I'm not okay. That was the case once before. The he father, didn't want to lose the rest. Once the father dies, now we're dealing with the Yerusha as has already happened. The Yerusha happened. The father right. died, the kids now own it. Right. They didn't divide it up yet. Question is can a Bukhoyer Give up on his complete pishnayim by giving up on part of it. He definitely gave up on part of it. I, it but I'm but saying, no, he, why can't he say I didn't give up on part of it? I gave them a. I I, I took my pishnayim. I'm giving him a present because he can't take without chalukah. What do you mean? I took. That's what chalukah is. Chalukah when they divide they up. Divided, they what? Totally, your brother can come and take totally, whatever he wants. You're saying you first have to yarshin it first. First, he has to yarshin it. Right, and that's it. This is talking about. The I, mean, I know, I know. Talking... I'm not talking about. I'm just talking about before. They, they, they're with the present. That's all I'm bringing. I'm not bringing it. I know it's not the same case. I know that the father's. I'm not, I'm just talking about it when when he, that it's just that he's losing the rest of the pishnayim. Why can't he just say, one second, I'm not giving up pishnayim. I just gave my brothers a present. Right on the peppers. That's all. You know. Just because the halakha uh, didn't am. happen yet. That's all. Yeah, I am. Okay, I don't know, whatever it is, the main point that we have to understand here is that if you give it away before death, you can do whatever you want because it's just a matana. But the Imam or Mishum Yerusha, continuing in the Mishnah, if he said it's because of Yerusha, meaning he used the terminology of Yerusha, then Loyama Klum, like we said, he said nothing. The question is, what is the Mishnah adding? We just said that if you say Yerusha, right? So what it means here is that here he's not, in the first case in the Mishnah, he's totally obliterating the Dina Yerushi, saying the Bechar is getting no double and this son is not getting anything. right? So he totally, here he's not. Here they're getting, they're just getting less. So even then, if he does it out to Yerusha, it doesn't work. And, but, and there's another, it's an interesting, he, if he writes it in a star. And he writes in the star that it's a Yerusha, Yerusha, but at least one place in the star, whether he wrote it in the first line or in the middle or at the end, he wrote the words Matana and Dvar of Kayamin, his words are Makuyim. His words work. Meaning as long as somewhere in the star it says Matana, that's enough. All right? Okay, so there's a lot is in this Mishnah. Yeah. Is this because the word Yerusha itself could be either a noun or a verb? I have no idea. If he puts the word matana in, then he's saying, even if he said, my Yerusha should be divided out this way. So the word Yerusha there could be either, I'm saying, they should be Yerush as a Yerusha in the way so specified. So rush bomb. Yeah. So the rush bomb in the last of the thin lines seems to say that um the word matana makes it that Yerusha works. Because Yerusha, I think the pshat is that Yerusha, with the help of art school again, the the, the, the din of Yerusha, the word Yerusha, be'etzam doesn't work. You can't call it a Yerusha if you're, if you're not going with Hilchas Yerusha. So Mel Yerusha is out. Matana teaches us that when he meant Yerusha, he's just using it as a terminology of these deaths, I'm giving it after my death. So I don't know if that's what you mean with a noun or a verb, or not a noun, but 
Yeah, kind of. He's just using the yeah. word Yerusha as my inheritance. What would be my inheritance should really be given as a Masamid before. Right. What's normally called inheritance. Yeah. Right. Okay. Zogdi Gemara. Fine. So, Frank the Gemara. Lehman Mastis is like Rabbi Yehuda. Let's say our Mishnah is not like Rabbi Yehuda. Because again, our Mishnah said you're not allowed to do anything against the dinam of Yerusha and the Torah because it's going against what the Torah says. Right? So, Rabbi Yehuda holds it. You can go against the Torah in certain situations. If it's a financial thing and somebody's willing to be Michael his finances, then you can go against the Torah. Meaning you can't go against the Torah and say, I'm not putting on tefillin today. Right? That's that you're not allowed to do. Right? But if it's a financial thing between you and somebody else and that other person agrees, because don't they? No problem. So that's what Rabbi Yehuda holds. So it must be our Mishnah is not like Rabbi Yehuda. The Tanya Imrali Isha Rayad Mikudeshli, if a guy says to his wife, I'm going to marry you. I'm not saying lach lach alai, sherek susanayna. But I'm marrying you that I'm not going to feed you, I'm not going to clothe you, and I'm not going to sleep with you. Two two thirds of it is the way our marriages are nowadays. But uh, right, <laughs> right, they're not clothing, they're not feeding, they're they're feeding themselves. Right, the aina part, yeah, that we, that will take. So anyway, so if a guy says. Sherek Susanayna, that you're not getting it. Harezu Mikudesh is a Tanai bottle. They're married, right? And he has to provide her Sherek Susanayna. Meaning what he said is meaningless. By the money parts, the Tanai is Kayim, meaning he has to still sleep with her because that's not financial, right? But the food and the clothing, if she agree, he she's entitled to get fed. And get clothed by her husband. If she decides to be Michael, she's she has the will with her to do that. So Lachaira, our mission is not there to be Yehuda, because a son could say, "Okay, I don't, I'm, I'm fine. If you don't want to give me Yerusha, I'm fine with that." So my answer is a filu time of Yehuda. You can even say it's a Yehuda. He says he said all three. Yeah, so what what happened? He said, I'm not married to you. I'm married to you only if I don't sleep with you. No, he said all three. I understand. So, 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 so he has to sleep with her. He's married. According to everybody, they're married. But he has to sleep with her. Well, why is he married? He said, he said, the tonight doesn't work. The condition works. The tonight doesn't work. I mean, listen, Azev, he can go give his wife clothing and she can throw it in the garbage. I'm saying that <laughs> that's not, or th throw it and give it back to him. That's fine. Uh, she's entitled to do that. But he's married and his tenayim don't work. So his tenayim are meaningless. Correct, exactly. But Rabbi Yehuda holds the tenayim of the financial tenayim are not meaningless. Well, how why is he dividing it, Rabbi Yehuda? What? Rabbi Yehuda is dividing it? He says, yeah. the money is not, the coin is, yeah. How, how are you doing this? The, the, that's not what the guy said. So that make a difference. You know, what he said is against the Torah. So then why the Kedushin a Kedushin? Um, why is it Kedushin a Kedushin? Because the Tanai is against the Torah. The Tanai right. is irrelevant. So it's Kedushin. If the Tanai would be correct, then the Kedushin would not be, would, would, would not be a Kedushin. So you're saying the try doesn't make a difference, no matter what a guy says. Yeah. But Rabbi Yehuda holds that the financial tonight he's entitled to do. Fine. So Gemara says, even our mister could even be Rabbi Yehuda, Hasam Yada Vikamachla. There she knows and she's Michael, meaning he tells her when he's proposing to her, I'm not feeding you. And I'm not cloning you. And she says, oh, she's an adult. She's Michael. Here, there was no mechila. Meaning the, 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 the sons who, who didn't know that the father secretly hates them or doesn't like them are not aware of anything to be Michael. Right? So, Mela, you can't just go against the Torah. Fine. So, I'm now to go against it to now a whole Nemonis thing. So Omar, Omar Rav Yosef. Omar Rav Yosef. So Yosef says, Omar ish plaini b'ni b'chayrihu. A guy 
Guy says, now the terminology here is very fine, the difference in the terminology. So Guy says, um, this Ish Pliny is my son who's a Bechor. Noitel Pishnaim, he's believed. Right? Um, but Ish Pliny Bechor who, if he says, he doesn't say the word Bini, he says Ish Pliny, this person Bechor who, Obviously, he's saying he's my son. Ain't it not the Pishnaim? Then he doesn't take it. Why? Because since he didn't say, say the word Bini, Dilma, Bukhru the Imakam, maybe he meant that he's the Bukhar from the mother. Now, the Bukhar from the mother does not get Pishnaim, the only Bukhar from the father. So maybe that's what the father meant. So that's why, again, if he said it, this is my son, the Bukhar, he's believed. We're going to see in tomorrow's Da'a Bez Hashem that if there's somebody who contests that and said he's not a Bechor, then you have more, then you're going to have more of an issue. But here it's uncontested. So he's believed. Yeah. But not if he just says, Ish Pliny Bechoru. Because it could be he's a Bechor, but he's a Bechor from the mother. So, the he said, I am muhsik, meaning I know for sure that this guy is a Bukhar. Where do you know? So he says, Because the father used to call him my Bukhar, my, my stupid Bukhar, or foolish Bukhar. Right? Dilma, um, I'm sorry, I ran out of that's, that's it. So that meaning, he said, he calls around, he goes, this guy goes around saying that this is his Bechor, his foolish Bechor. Fine, so maybe, so it sounds like he's a Bechor. So then Gemara says, no, no, Dilma Bechor de Imo. Maybe when he says, what do you mean by foolish Bechor? Maybe he meant this Bechor of the mother. To call Bechor de Imo, Nami Bechor Sichla Karu Lei. People call a Bechor from the mother a foolish Bechor. Right? Meaning because he's not a full Bechor. Yeah. Um meaning Rashpam says not because he's not because he's stupid. Like the the the, the, the Rashpam says, because like we know Hadas Shaita. The the Mishnah, the Gemara Mishnah and Sukkah calls a Hadas that's missing leaves Hadas Shaita. Because it's missing, it's not a full shaita. Why is it why not a full hadas? Why is it called shaita? I don't know. The same thing here. This guy's not a full Bukhar. Maybe that's what it meant, so it's not a riot. Then we get into some Talk about a Gemara that seems to be not to be able to be proven medically. He said, I think for sure this guy is a Bechor. Because when people would come to his father um, with, uh, with eye issues, he would tell them, Zilu Lagabi. Um, Shikhas Bari, go to my son Shikhas, the Bukhra, because he's a Bukhar, Matsi Raike, and a Bukhar's saliva heals. Somehow, a Bukhar's saliva heals people's eyes. Okay. So, Mela, since he kept telling everybody, go to the go to my son, the Mabi is a Bukhar. Maybe he, maybe like we just we said before, it doesn't mean he's a Bukhar from the father, maybe he's a Bukhar from the mother. So he answered, the Gemara says, Gmiri, we have a like a, now Gmiri usually means, I don't know if that, that's what it means here. Gmiri, Bukhru da'aba, Masi ruke, Bukhar from the father, the saliva heals, Bukhru da'ima, loy Masi ruke, but the Bukhar of mother does not, does not heal. Uh, fine. So, Omar Rav Ami, so now there's a new sugi about tumtum. The next, the, the next amr is going to be about tumtum. A tumtum is a is a baby that's born without simonim, meaning it's covered over. We don't know if the boy is a female or a female. And you could cut it open, and then you could see if it's a male or a female. That's called a tumtum. So amr avami tumtum shenikra, a tumtum that was torn open. Venim to zacher, and they find it be a zacher. Ainu no to pishnaim, he does not get double. Damar kra, but yabena bechor lasnia. It says that uh, this is talking about when you have two wives, and it says the ben abachor for the wife he hates. Ben He has to be a son from when he's in the world. 
And since this guy was not a son when he was in the world, because until he had a surgery to figure out what he is, he wasn't a son. So then, for, therefore, it's it's out. Just based on the puzzle. Even a baby who was only discovered to be a male later is doesn't even can't become a ben sarimayr. When a man will become a ben sarimayr, he has to be there. He has to be a man from when he was born. I'll do a few lines because uh, I got tomorrow I have a chasana, so in case I have to do it fast. And this gets a little technical. So till now we're talking about where Bechor was a tumtum. Now I'm talking about where the regular son was a tumtum. So the regular son of the tumtum does not take away from the Bechor's Pichnayim. What is this? Well, let's see. Shanamar Vayoduloi Bon. And they gave him, they born, they they were born the sons. Actually, Ben Bishas later has to be a son when he's born. So basically, what it's saying is like this. When we have, you have let's say you have three sons. You have the Bukhar, you have a regular son, and you have a Tumtum. So how would you normally split it? So you'd split it four ways. The Bukhar takes two. The regular son takes one, and the tumtum takes another. If you split it that way, then the bechor is going to end up with less. But if you look at the tumtum, that he's not a son, so then you split it three ways. Give the bechor his pishnayim, and then you split it three ways. So then the bechor is going to end up with with more money. Meaning, what the gemara is saying is the bechor gets his pishnayim, eliminating the bechor that's a tum, the, the son that's a tumtum. And then once he gets a Pishnayim, then you split the Rush. And again, you have three sons. You have three sons. Bukhar, regular, and a Tumtum. Mishnah is saying that you don't split it four ways, and two ways goes to the Bukhar, and then one portion to the Tumtum, and one portion to the regular son. That's not the way you do it. You first split it three ways, right? meaning one way for the to the regular son, and one way for the Bukhar, and one way for the Pishnayim of the Bukhar. Three ways. You give the Bukhar his Pishnayim. The rest of it now you split three ways. Now you bring the Tumtum into the picture. I would never have thought this on my own, but that's the way Amemar is saying it. Shot in the puzzle. According to Amemar, what do you do if there's only two, a Bukhar and a Tumtum? So that the Bukhar gets everything? Get, he's not going to get everything. How he's going to lose automatically? I mean, no, he's going to get because there is a son, so he's going to get double. I guess he'll get three quarters. Does that make sense? Uh, no, because he'll still get his pishnayim. You just divide it into three. No, Why because three? we don't divide pishnayim. There's only two sons. I'm saying there's only the bchor yeah. and the tumtum. So he's divided into three. He's not. He's not taking any more of the pishnayim. Why we're saying we don't look at the the tumtum until they split the pishnayim the 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 until they give the pishnayim the tumtum is not existing. Right, only when he's taking away from the pishnayim. So if he wouldn't be there, you're saying oh, so now you're saying a caveat that if he doesn't take away from the pishnayim, then we do count. That's what we try. That's what we're saying. When well, there's only him, he and the bechayr, he's not being memayet. He's not. Sure he is. If you count him, he's being Mamayat. Right. He, the, the guy's getting exactly double whatever the rest of the whole Yerusha is if there's only him in the Tumtum. That's the best possible scenario scenario for him. Right. Well, we have the Makhoikas, whether he gets double the whole thing, or the Shaila, rather. Whether he gets double of the entire Yerusha or double a Chalik of however many brothers there are. Here he's getting everything. He's getting double the entire rest of the Yerush. You can't say he's being the mind to anything. Right. I, I hear don't okay. you. You have to be mean. right. You have to be right. Otherwise, I mean, it can't be Naftali's right. 
No, I don't mean it like that. I mean, otherwise you don't have. Well, I don't mean sounded that like that. Sounded yeah. like that. You did a sounded little. Like that. Sorry. I mean, you know what? You know what? Both both could be right. Both could be right. <laughs> I don't understand why the the other pashtun should lose out. He's gonna get less if you leave out the the tumdum from the original chalukah. Yeah, fair enough. Why? Why is because uh, based on the pasuk? Because the guy doesn't get a chalukah. No, but the pasuk only no, but the pasuk only tells me that he can't be mamayit in the pishnayim. If he can't be mamayit in the pishnayim, he, he for sure can't be mamayit in the regular chalukah. Right. I hear. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, it's late already, so let, let's just finish up. Fine. So that's what Amema is saying. Rav Shizbi Omar Af Nima Lishmaina. You know what? It's later in nine thirty-two. We'll stop. We'll stop over here. Stop over here. Um, you gotta do okay. good to Shulchan Aruch. Yeah, okay, tomorrow. Tomorrow I will. Uh, pr- probably not before eight thirty-five, eight forty. Assume. Assume not before eight forty. I'll. I'll text out as, as it's closer. Unless we do seven. Unless, oh, you know what? Maybe Taka. Should we do 7.30? Does 7.30 work better? Works for me. What time is your chuppah? 7.30, but you know how these things roll, and then it's like a half-hour break. You know, let's do it. You know, let's do... I don't choose this. I don't know. <laughs> how about you um, post it? We'll be, we'll be on alert from 7 o'clock and on tomorrow. Maybe yeah, talk. Does it work better late? Okay, you know, we'll probably do eight forty. We'll probably do it. Eh. Where's the Hasana? In Flapush, Por Hashem, not in Lakewood. <laughs> I'm gonna be in Lakewood. <laughs> oh. <laughs>